Hello YouTube. Today I'm playing simple. We're going to be talking uh, briefly about reverse thrusters. Uh, some of you, actually most of you, probably know or have heard of reverse thrusters and jet engines having some type of reverse. A lot of people think that reverse thrust on a jet engine means that the engine instead of goes from having a jet of exhaust going out the back of the engine I have found people think thinking that the engine reverses rotation and instead of blowing the jet the, the exhaust stream out the back of the engine it actually starts blowing it forward in the reverse direction that's not exactly what's happening what we're looking at here is reverse thrusters on a JT8 this particular engine there's different different styles of reverse thrusters and this is one we'll be looking at two today in this particular case inside of the exhaust cone of the engine here there's two half clamshells that come together like so it would be like this come down I mean let's take a look inside over here Okay, we're looking inside the back of the engine. Intake is up there somewhere. Air is going through the compressor, combustors, etc., etc., through the, the turbine, and we end up in the back of the engine. As a matter of fact, we can see the turbine, the last stage of the turbine, in there. Bypass air is coming through here all the way around. Core air is coming through here, through the center. Of the engine here now this piece here it's kind of hard to point the light and hold the phone and anyways this half pedal here along with this right here this is the other half pivot on this point right here and up here let's see if I can do this that means that this half and this half they swing together this way and they meet in the middle once they block off the air that's coming from the back of the engine they come together and seal this off completely those two halves move one goes this way the other one goes this way and they completely block off the back of the engine diverting the air that would normally be coming out of the back of the engine they divert the air and blow it out the sides through these louvers this is looking at the engine from the side again here's the front inlet compressor etc etc through the turbine but now this end gets blocked off right here the air gets diverted comes out the side of the engine through those louvers here and it gets blown f out the sides and forward you have this on this side of the engine and if we come around to the other side we have the same thing louvers here louvers on the other side of the engine so now the air is still, the engine is still rotating in the same direction, the air is still moving in the same direction through the engine, except that now we're blocking off the back of the engine, so nothing's creating uh, thrust, all the thrust instead of going out that way, pushing the airplane forward, now all the exhaust is diverted and pushed out the side and forward. So now the engine is pushing all the, ma all the volume of air, all the mass and it's pushing it forward that is reversing the direction of the thrust that's why they're called thrust reversers they reverse the direction of the flow of the thrust now this is one type where the entire exhaust of the engine gets blocked off by those two pedals that swing and come together and divert the air and blow out the side now we're going to look at a different um, 
different design. And now we're back to this. This is the turbo fan. I believe it's a CF6, which you've seen, you, I hope you've seen in one or two of my other videos. This is a high bypass. Well, let's, let's back up a second. The engine that we just looked at, the JT8, is a bypass engine, but it's a low bypass engine. And the reverse thruster on that engine, which is way at the end over there, blocks off the entire exhaust, including the core air. Now we're going to look at this reverse thruster design, which does not mess with, well, this is a little tight, but for you to get the picture, uh, here's the fan. The front of the engine is this way. This right here, this is bypass air. This is the fan blowing air past the engine, past the core. This is the core here. This is where all the air and combustion, the, the compressor, com uh, combustors, and the turbines and everything else is housed in here in the in the core of the engine. This powers the fan, and the fan moves a lot of air around the engine and out the back. Now. In the JT8 that we just looked at, the reverse thrusters were here, right aft of the turbines. This is where they blocked off the uh, exhaust flow and diverted it. In the case of this engine, there's nothing here. Nothing's blocking the exhaust of the core of the engine. The reverse thrusters in this engine are only reversing the direction of the fan air and I'm going to show you how it does that if we look at this one over here we have two of those engines on this one over here this I need to back up a bit again same thing we have here we have the core of the engine the rest of this is all the fan None of this air is going through the core. It's bypassing the engine and going out the back. Now, see these struts here? That and that and that. Those are connected to these little doors. These doors, this cowling here, this cover, all around the fan slides forward and back on the engine and if you look this up on YouTube you're gonna see it uh, reverse thrusters on airplanes in service during flight and you're gonna see that this cowling on the engines move back and expose louvers that go all the way around the side of the engine much like we had on the JT-8, except the JT-8 only had sections of louvers going out one side and out the other. These go all the way around. When this section of the cowling moves back, these struts here, these arms, pivot here and here. And as this shifts back, all these individual pedals all around, they swing up. And they block this here. Each one of these swings up like that and they come and they block off all the fan bypass air they block this off and divert the fan air forward and this these little pedals these little sections all come together and close this off and that is when it reverses the flow of fan air forward and that is the thrust reverser on the CF6. That's the uh, the other design that we were look at. We were going to look at today. Some other engines have external clamshells that also block off the the entire exhaust, but they're external, where the whole exterior of the engine swings up and out and close off back here upper half comes up and the lower half does the same thing they meet in the middle 
and they divert the whole exhaust out and forward. I don't have one of those here. Uh, I may show that hopefully on another video another day. I just don't have one of those here now. Anyways, uh, well, I guess it turned out to be not too quick of a video, but I hope it helps. I hope, uh, eh, I hope you get something out of it. All right, see you guys. Bye.